Hello and welcome to EDEL 462, Classroom Theory and Management. This is just a brief overview of the Blackboard part of our course. If you look over on the left, you'll see links to some of the important sections. We're on the home page right now, but if you click on the course page, you will see pretty much everything that you need to be able to get to. Over on the left, you can there's a shortcut there to the syllabus, also to discussions, which I'll get to later. Help, which is for Blackboard users. Um, your grades, you'll be able to click and see what your grades are, as well as a calendar of uh, what week we're in and what the upcoming assignments that are due. You're watching this video, you've already done this first link. If you click here on the syllabus, you'll see there are two syllabus available, syllabi is available, one for main campus and one for the Antelope Valley campus. Underneath that is where the weekly PowerPoints will be. Depending on which group you're in, you're either going to go odd-numbered weeks or even-numbered weeks. There'll be a link here to the PowerPoint for that particular face-to-face -face class meeting. You can print that out if you'd like to take notes on or keep for later reference. I don't have anything posted yet. I will post the PowerPoint the Monday before our first class. You'll see here a completed module upload center and that refers to these modules here. So the weeks that you're not in class you will be responsible to complete a module. I've designed them so they're about three hours long. Some will be shorter, some will be a little bit longer just depending on how much effort and time you put into them. My recommendation is that you work on the module during the normal class time. So you know Wednesdays from 4.30 to uh, 755 if you're a main campus student and 415 to 735 if you're an Antelope Valley campus student on the Wednesday that you don't have class. Depending on the module there'll be directions and then application sheet is really kind of the worksheet that you'll fill out or complete and that's what you'll upload in the upload center. So you click here you'll get the directions, click here you'll get the worksheet. The modules are designed to be self-explanatory but if you do have questions, you can always email me or um, call me, although I don't answer my phone nearly as much as I answer my email. If you still, uh, or if you want to get help from other students, you can come over here to the discussions. There's a get help, give help section, and that's really for you as students to use. If you click on there and if you have a question, you could create a thread, you know, and be specific in your title so other students can read it and then give you advice or help on how to complete that particular assignment successfully. Down here are the observation forms. You're required for this course to do 10 hours of observation. Really want to encourage you to do more than just observe. Uh, if you can, build a relationship with the teacher's classroom that you're observing in uh, to actually participate, help out. But there are uh, forms here that you'll complete, uh, a form for each observation, and you can take multiple forms if you go over. Um, the minimum would be one for each uh, observation. And there's a list of cues, which are basically questions to kind of read through to kind of prime you for what to be looking for while you're actually doing a cl uh, classroom observations. Remember that this course is classroom theory and management, and so we really want to be kind of focusing on the management aspects of the class when you go in to work and observe in the classroom. That's basically it. Um, one last thing I guess is very important is the grades. If you click on the grade section you'll see uh, here uh, if you're a Bakersfield student you'll have your score here and if you're an AV student you'll have your score here. Please be real careful to make sure you upload your work in the correct uh, place you know Bakersfield for Bakersfield and AV for AV. Um, the last thing I guess is the calendar. You can always click the month view to see. Uh, I, I will have here uh, each week uh, what the week is. So Antelope Valley students you'll be the odd numbered weeks and then Bakersfield students you'll be the even numbered weeks. And I will put on here when specific assignments are due as well. Do follow the syllabus. It has all the assignment dates in there as well um, in case I forget to put them on the calendar. So do go by the syllabus. If there's a conflict between this calendar and the syllabus, the syllabus always wins. Take care, and I will see you in our first class.